to be back here on Working and Pastoral Day. Uh, and we welcome back a regular favorite here to the main arena. And if, like me, you love staffies, you are in for a treat. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a huge round of applause as we welcome the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier Display Team. I'm going to hand you over to Christina Chapman. It's lovely to welcome you back after a two-year absence. The team, as you can see, is made up of Staffordshire Bull Terriers with their handlers. The dogs know what to do. We're not sure about the handlers. Um, one of only two breeds recommended to be with children and one of the loveliest breeds you could wish to meet. And if you want to meet them, you can do so after the display. This is a whole display team from the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club. Now I'm going to hand over to Leslie because she knows all the clever stuff. Well, I hope I do. Um, it's really nice, I have to say, to be back doing what we like doing best, which is showing you the absolute positive side of Staffordshire Bull Terriers. So you'll have seen the, the full team doing their rounds here. Um, we've put together quite a simple display for you today. We just wanted to show you their agility, their athleticism, and of course they're fun. You'll see some of that too. We're going to start off this section with our Hoopers section. Hoopers, as you know, is, is a quite new on the block. Here we've got Tiger, first of all. Now, Tiger's actually at the highest level of UK Hoopers and enjoying it. She lives at home with Joe and the other dogs. Queenie, who you'll see later, is her mum. And Joe says that her absolute favourite things in life are fruit and veg and she'll do anything to get the opportunity to steal some. Smash in, well done, Tiger. Next in, we're gonna have Roxy. Now, Roxy's come all the way from North Wales. She lives with Kev up there. Funnily enough, they're probably one of the furthest traveled for us today, but they were here first. So, Roxy's nine years old, and she's been with Kev since she was a tiny pup at eight weeks. And she lives as well with another Stafford, with Olive, who you'll see shortly. She's retired now from agility, so Kev says Hoopers is absolutely ideal for her because it doesn't put any extra weight on her joints anywhere. Excellent, Olive. What I do know about Olive is she loves swimming. Apparently she doesn't like the water cold, though. It has to be heated. Next up, we've got Az with Kelly. Az is seven and a half. And he's been with our display team now since 2018, so he's quite a veteran with us. Saying that, he'll be competing here tomorrow in veteran classes because he also competes in breed shows, as well as doing some scent work, some low train level obedience, and he loves training tricks. He often demonstrates at class training his tricks. And he's actually, as well, the um, who, current UK Hoopers Small League champion. Thanks a lot, Az. Nice to see. Now we've got Marnie and Bodkin. Now Bodkin you'll see later doing what he does best, which is very good obedience. But he's discovered Hoopers recently and decided he absolutely loves it. Now Bodkin's eight and a half. He's been with Marnie since he was a seven-week-old puppy. He's placed several times in puppy and junior breed shows before he took up his main career of obedience. And in that, he's won up through all the classes and now works top class. He's successful in rally and has his level six excellent title. And in a tracking dog, he's qualified as intermediate. I think that makes him a pretty much all round dog. And Kev's done a quick whiz around the back and come back with Olive now. Now, Olive's one of the family members you're going to see here today. She's three years old, and she's a litter mate to Hattie, who you'll see at the end, and a daughter of Jersey. Now, when she's not running at 100 miles an hour like she is now, or eating, Kev says you can normally find her on the settee cuddled up to Roxy. She loves her trick training. You might remember her double act in the car with Roxy before. And she loves scent work, parkour, agility, and hoopers. Lewis Hamilton, eat your heart out. Never leave the toys out. Next up is Molly with Sarah. Now Molly's age seven. She was rescued from Three Counties Dog Rescue when she was six months old. Molly actually never wanted a Stafford, 
but she went to the rescue centre and it was the only dog that was suitable for their family. They had a couple of children who were by Marana already. And Molly's now their second one. Sarah says it's not a breed she ever thought she'd own, but now said she'd never be without one. I think there's a few of us that will probably say the same. And to finish off the Hoopers part, I'm sure a lot of you will remember the very viral Pocket Rocket video from Crufts 2020 of Queenie whizzing around the Hooper stuff. Now she'll be 10 in May. Um, she's a show dog, she's done film, she's grade seven agility, she's highest grade UK Hoopers, and she will do absolutely anything for her favorite green and purple ball balls. All Joe's dogs are color coded. Queenie's colors are purple and green. Great stuff. So that's the end of our Hoopers bit. We're just gonna give our our helpers a minute to get rid of the equipment out of the way. And the next section that we're going to do is just some very basic obedience we're going to work on and then build up to a little bit more. So we're going to show you, first of all, just some of the things that happen with the KC Good Citizen stuff. As a club, we're really proud because we've competed with Good Citizen Dog Scheme a few times and we've been fortunate enough to be placed and awarded. We like to show that Staffordshire Bull Terriers can be obedient, they can also be disobedient, but they can do what they're asked when they're asked. So they're going to show some very basic centre bed exercises, recall and stop the dog. As you saw earlier doing hoopers, and the other dog in the ring at the moment is Keeper with Tracy. The keeper's five years old. She's done all, all the foundation work from Puppy Foundation through to Gold in Kennel Club Good Citizen Scheme, as has As. She's decided she wants to go on Az's bed rather than her own. It's very exciting to be a puppy in here. Now she also does a lot of man trailing in the countryside and also in suburban terrain. She had a litter of puppies that were born during the lockdown, first lockdown in COVID, but luckily everything went according to plan. Now, Keeper's previously been shown at Crufts and her daughter's showing here tomorrow in breed class. But probably one of the best facts about Keeper is that her owner, Tracy, is a type 1 diabetic. Keeper is actually brilliant at alerting Tracy when her blood sugars drop. It's a real asset, if not a lifesaver. I think that just shows the intuition you get between these dogs and their owners. Big round of applause, please, for our two basic obedience guys. And then the next we're going to welcome into the ring, we've actually got an international member with us today. Now, Crystal here has come all the way from Belgium. She's going to be competing tomorrow in the breed classes with Rumor in the veteran class. Um, but also, because she does a lot of um, basic obedience and other stuff in Belgium, we just asked her if she'd like to spend some time and be a star guest for us today. So here we have Crystal and Rumor. His kennel club name is Indian Staff, only a rumour away. He was born on the 28th of February 2015. He was born in Bel Belgium, but both his sar and dam are not only from the UK, but also from the East Anglian area. He's got a whole range of titles under his belt. Some of his titles are Belgium Junior Champion, Junior Luxembourg Champion, Benny Lux Junior Winner, Top Junior Terrier Club Belgium, Belgian champion, Dutch champion, Luxembourg champion, Benelux champion, top Stafford in Holland and best in show winner at the Luxembourg Terrier Show. He's also passed the official Belgian Kennel Club socialization test and obedience test. But beside the show scene, he's also acted in agility and in Belgian obedience competitions. The big thing that Crystal says about rumor is he can often be a clown. He absolutely loves fruit, he loves the couch, and he's a very happy dog. I think you can see all of that with what he's doing here. They've obviously got a great connection. And a nice finish. We're going to do some distance work with him here too. Yeah. 
he's going to wait in his square. And a nice finish. Excellent, well done. Big round of applause, please, for our international guests, Crystal and Ruma. Really lovely to have you with us on the scene. And we'll clear away our stuff there. And then for the next part, we're going to have Marnie and Bodkin. Now, you remember that we saw them before, and I said to you um, that Marnie is extremely excellent with all her obedience. Everybody knows Marnie in the dog world. And I'm not going to speak through this. I'm just going to let Marnie and Bodkin speak for themselves. Enjoy. Brilliant work. Big round of applause there. Now Marnie's going to do a little bit on the rally course. Marvellous. Thank you so much, Marnie. Absolutely brilliant to see the work between the two of them together. So, as going together works, who remembers Avril? And who remembers Izzy? It's going to be difficult to tell them apart shortly. Izzy's growing so tall. Yeah, but this is obviously our best team member. Izzy is one of our very best team members. So here we've got Izzy and Jersey, who are going to show you just a little few tricks together. Izzy's already been busy, busy this morning competing with Young Kennel Club. And here she's just going to show off just the wonderful bond that we get with children and dogs. We are just so proud of the fact that Staffordshire Bull Terriers are one of only two breeds where it actually mentions their suitability with children.
Somebody knocked her bowl over. Always useful to get the children to tidy up, but if it means they can get the dog to do it as well, even better. And of course, there's always a reward for doing what you do. <laughs> it depends if someone's got their favourite ball. Good job is his legs are getting longer. And a lovely bow. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. And you'll see them back in the ring shortly. Who says dogs and children don't mix? Well, I think our dogs and children mix. So to finish off the set, this section and to finish off our display, we're going to go and do some agility now. As you know, Staffordshire Bull Terriers breed standard ask them to be active and agile. So hopefully that's what you're going to see now. So first of all, into the ring is going to be Queenie. Now, she was called Queenie because she was born in the Queen's Golden Jubilee year. This year, obviously, is the Queen's Platinum Jubilee year, which is why the dogs have all got their wonderful Union Jack bandanas. So that must mean that she's 10 years old. I think she's pretty much still fairly active and agile for a 10-year-old. And a reward. Marvellous, thank you, Joe. Don't blink, you miss it. <laughs> whizzing around, absolutely whizzing. So here, Molly, who you remember seeing before doing hoopers. Molly's back in to do a little bit more. And Molly's seven too, so she's not a young one. Now, Sarah actually says Molly's favorite toy is a honking pig. And apparently her favourite trick is to be shot. But when she's not doing agility and when she's not doing hoopers, like all Stafford, she loves cuddling on the sofa. Now what we'd also like to have the opportunity to, to say is, as Molly's a rescue dog, a lot of our other dogs are bred by reputable breeders. There's room for both. Unfortunately, there always will be a lot of bull breed mixes and Staffords in rescue because a lot are bred by the wrong breeders. If you're looking for a puppy, please go to a reputable breeder. Please contact your breed club. Thank you, Molly and Sarah. So remember we said there would be some competition. Well, we've got a special competition at the end to finish off. We have mother and daughter competition. So first into the ring, we have Mother, which is Avril. And we have Mother, which is Jersey. And they are gonna whiz round our agility course in the best possible way. I'm always amazed at Stafford's doing weaves because they don't look like they're built for weaves. Now that looked pretty fast and a good round, but we're just hoping that our second competitor is going to top that one. So let's see how we get on. We're going to welcome Izzy back into the ring with Hattie. So we have Izzy, who's the daughter, and Hattie, who's Jersey's daughter. Now the race is on. 
and let's see how we get on. Bearing in mind, as I said earlier, Izzy was competing in Young Kennel Club Agility already this morning, and I think she's back again tomorrow. And she looks like she's going a pretty good rate now. That's it, through the tunnel. Round, round. I think, wow, excellent round. Two clear rounds, but we need to know who was the fastest. Who do you think was the fastest, Becky? Becky says Izzy's won. Massive round of applause to Izzy and Hattie. And we'd like to thank you very much for watching us today. Well done, Izzy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our display for today. Lovely to be back after a two-year absence and to see so many of you here watching these wonderful dogs. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a massive round of applause for the East Anglian Staffordshire Bull Terrier Display Team? Okay, do stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. Our Heel Work to Music is coming up in just a moment.